Hello friends. In this video, I am going to write a C program to count number of digits in an integer. So I am using Dev C++ compiler. So in that, you have to keep in mind that uh, always uh, write here int before the main function, and uh, that's why I am writing here return zero because an integer value need to be returned here. So I am going to write the program and then after uh, make you sure that how I written that program and how the logic is going to work. So, firstly I have to uh, declare some variable. So int, for example, n, and I am going to do the printf in which inter a, inter n integer, and once somebody enter that, then I have to store scan f percent d m percent n then after I have to iterate in such a way that I could be able to count number of digits so I have a while loop facility in which I am going to iterate n until it is not equal to 0 till that time I would iterate this so I have n equal to n divided by 10 and I also want one more variable which is count plus plus and that would count the values so uh, uh, right now I am here writing count equal to 0 initialized to 0 So this is the simple logic and then after I have to print the result that would be inside the count. So count equal to <coughs> percent D comma count right means count uh, you can also say that number of digits number of digits. <coughs> and then after now that's the end and uh, once you will run that you will find the output for example I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is the integer and now you can see that this has printed number of digits 5 that means 5 number of digits are uh, in the integer which I given the given as an input right so this is really easy so now I am just making you understand that how I written this actually I have um, declared some variables which is n and count I already initialized the count as well and then after I got the input from the user in the uh, variable n and then after I iterated the loop n not equal to 0 here this formula is going to uh, divide the value of n uh, by 10 right so in this way we could able to reduce uh, one digit every uh, on every iteration for example you have one two three so if you have divided uh, by ten then you can say that you uh, will get only two three one would be uh, uh, reduced right one digit would be reduced so in the similar way until you are getting uh, n equal to equal to zero then after you could able to come out from this loop and the count would give us the total number of digits that would be in that specific integer which we given as an input so one thing you have to keep in mind which is like if you have uh, the value which is very much long so you have to write here long long this is also the data type right so for that you have to write here LLD right long long decimal so uh, once you will print the output for example I have 2 3 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 8 digits so this is able to uh, count your values because we have the bigger uh, data type which we mentioned here so in some cases we uh, needed the data type 
which is in, uh, somewhat bigger so that we could able to manage the output so at that time we needed such type of data types as well so i think you uh, got the uh, logic behind the counting of number of digits in an integer so that's it thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos in the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any have a nice day ahead